This is AIR. Artists in Residence Broadcasting. Coming to you once a week from New York City. Hello, Emily. What are, what are you going to surprise me with today? Well, I want to complain about something. Co- a complaint? John Cullum. Yes. Now, first of all, we have to introduce us. This is John Cullum. I'm John Cullum. I'm, I'm Emily's <laughs> wife. <laughs> you are? All right. I'm your husband. Okay. And we are doing a post for my blog, Ems Talkery, and mm. the subject is, John, why are you always watching sports? I mean, do I ever devote myself to some program that's annoying to you, like uh, J.J.? I refuse to answer that on the grounds that I may have to be persecuted for the rest of my life. <laughs> what I wanted to talk about was why it is that... You John, don't like me to watch sports, and you, you think that there are things that that you do that I... That, no, 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 I wanted to talk about... What about I, how much time do I have to... How many times have I had to watch Judge Judy? That's what I wanted to talk about. Oh. That John Cullum watches sports, and I watch Judge Judy. Now, sports gets a little boring for John, but he just enjoys it and just and it relaxes him. And why do I cleave to Judge Judy? I think it's very similar, that it's something that allows my mind to float away from all the things that are on my mind in terms of jobs, and I can relax with other people's problems. Yeah, that's right. So is there a relationship with the intensity, the frequency of you watching sports, and the fact that I really enjoy watching Judge Judy every night, at night. Well, I think I think that you watch Judge Judy, well, secretly, I think you watch because she's mean, and you, you kind and I of, like to be mean. You like to be that way yourself, but you can't. No, but she's an you, example to me of telling the truth. She tells the truth no matter who you are and no matter what level. She says, hey, you're dumb. You're ridiculous. That's, tell- that's telling the truth. When she, How many times have I heard her say, they don't hire me because I'm pretty, but they hire me because I'm smart. I'm smarter than you are. I it- like that. <laughs> I like that. But how does that relate? How many times have you said that to me? <laughs> oh, my God. You look bitter. <laughs> well. Let's see a bitter look. Play bitter. That's, I don't know, bitter. Bitter. I'm not, bitter. I'm not so very see. good with bitter. I'm yeah, make bitter. Forlorn. <laughs> <laughs> it's more my, my style. But um, no, I, tell you, I tell you, the, okay. the truth is, watching sports and watching Judge Judy have this in common. They are finite. Then you know that you know that, the, that it's going to be over within a certain time. Now, with Judge Judy, you know that she's going to get something accomplished. Every time, each one of those things is an episode. She gets it done. She makes a judgment, and she feels right about it, even if the, some of the people don't think that she's done the right job. And and it's you know in they our go own crying line, sometimes. Yeah, well, that delights me. My nose is running, Emily. I don't cry. I just drip. Okay, so go ahead. <laughs> well, with I think with sports, you see, you always feel good. When you when you get through watching Judge Judy, but I on, I only feel good when the team that I love wins, so I end up being depressed half the time. And with the <laughs> Knicks, I've been depressed most of the time. So uh, it's not as much fun to watch sports as it used to be. And you know, I used to watch Tiger Wood, and I liked him because he always won. But now he doesn't win anymore. And besides, you. You kind of pull against him anyway for some of the No, I pull for him. I pull for him because he's been a hero, and he is still a hero. But let's not get into that because a lot of people don't agree with me. Yeah, well, I'm... So you find sports something to root for, but it does involve you because you get sad when your team loses. That's right. See, and I don't feel anything about any of the judge shooting people. I like Judge Judy. I like the way she functions. <laughs> That's because she always gets the job done. You know, so often in our lives we attack problems that just feel like we can never get them solved. 
And so you watch somebody like Judge Judy and she always has the right answer. She knows what she's doing and she's smarter than anybody else in the world. Hey, I got an idea. What's that? You watch Judge Judy. Yes. And I'll watch sports. Would you like that? <laughs> Hello. I'm, I'm frozen. frozen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd like Well, that's all that I be watching. I like to Judge Judy. Actually, I'm getting used to it. Okay. So we're finished with this topic. Okay. So how do we end this video? I'm glad we're finished with this topic, <laughs> and we'll see you sometime next week. This is AIR. See you next week.